So this question is from data sufficiency. You know what we need to do here, right? Each of the questions below consists of a question and two statements one and two. You have to decide whether the data provided in the statements are sufficient to answer the questions or not. Right? The only thing uh, that you guys must check uh, when you are you know, picking up data sufficiencies is he asking us to find out statements which are sufficient or statements which are not sufficient. Be, be careful about that, right? Statements which are sufficient are to be found. Okay? Options have been given to you, right? Only one alone is sufficient, only two alone is sufficient, either one alone or two alone is sufficient. Both are not sufficient and both are necessary, right? So based on that, you choose your answer. Now, here we go. First question. How many children are there in the row of children facing north? How many children are there in the row of children facing north? So we have to find out the count, the number of children in a particular row. Look at the statement one. Sangeeta is third from the left end of the row and is third to the left of Hasina. I can straight away say this statement will not be sufficient. See, understand, for us to be able to find out the total number of children, this, this again belongs to which topic, ranking and ordering. Go back to the basics of ranking and ordering, right? We have discussed it there. In ranking and ordering, for you to find out the total number of children in a row, what you should know? You should know the position of one particular person from both ends, left end as well as right end. Wherever you want to find out the total number of persons in a row, total number of persons in a queue, total number of students in a class and based on the ranks, you should know the data of one particular person from both the sides. Hasina's rank from left end, Hasina's rank from right end. Or Sangeeta's rank from left end, Sangeeta's rank from right end. Only then you will be able to get the answer. How will you get the answer? Position from left end plus position from right end minus one. That's how we do it. Yes or no? Directly or indirectly, you should be able to find out the position of one person, any one person from both the ends. Now when I look at statement number one here, we know that Sangeeta is third from left end. Fine. Sangeeta is third from left end. And is third to the left of Hasina. And is third to the left of Hasina. Clearly, you do not know Sangeeta's position from right end. All you know is she is third from left end. And she is third to the left of Hasina. So Hasina is somewhere towards the right. But is Hasina the rightmost person? No, we don't know. So statement one is not sufficient. You getting it? I mean, if I have to mark it, plot it for you. This is, let's say, the left end. Sangeeta is third from the left end. This is Sangeeta's position, let's say. She is third from the left end. Third from the left end. And so, so if I take left end, first, second, third is Sangeeta. And she is third to the left of Hasina. First, second, third. This is Hasina. According to statement one. According to statement one, Sangeeta is third from the left end. First, second, third. And she is third to the left of Hasina. First, second, third. Third to the left of Hasina. What is the total number of persons in the row? I cannot answer because there can be people after Hasina, right? We do not know how many people are there uh, on the right hand side of Hasina. You getting it? So statement one alone is not sufficient because this, this is not known. Definitely this is the leftmost position. But is this the rightmost position? No, no idea. Statement two. Rakesh is fifth from the right end of the row and is third to the right of Hasina. Again the same problem. Rakesh, remember golden rule when you are answering questions of data sufficiency. When you look at statement number two, you should forget about everything that is given in statement number one. Don't say, I know uh, Hazina's data from statement one. No, we do not know anything. Erase your memory when you look at statement number two. Erase your memory is not the full memory. As there is whatever you have uh, checked in statement one when you are checking statement number two. Okay. So Rakesh is fifth from the right end of the row and is third to the right of Hasina. Same problem. This statement will not be sufficient. Rakesh is fifth from the right end. Okay. And is third to the right of Hasina. And is third to the right of Hasina. Will you be able to find out? No. Total number of persons cannot be established. So two alone is also not sufficient. So A cannot be the answer. B cannot be the answer. C also cannot be the answer. Data in one alone or two alone is not sufficient. Now there are two possible answers. Either the combination is enough or the combination is not enough. Remember, again another golden rule when you are solving questions from data sufficiency. You have to combine the data in the two statements. You have to go for the combination of the two statements. If... And only if the statements individually fail to give the answer. I repeat, you have to go for the combination. You have to go for the combination if and only if the statements independently fail to give the answer. So here statement 1 failed to give the answer. Statement 2 also has failed to give the answer. Now maybe you can go for the combination. I can combine the data given in both the statements. Right? I can combine the data given both the statements. Yeah? Now, upon combination, you should know that Hasina is the connector in both the statements. Look at this. I mean, what happens? According to statement 1, this is the data. If I connect this with statement 2, Rakesh is third to the right of Hasina. Rakesh is third to the right of Hasina. So, 
first, second, third. Rakesh will come in this position. And Rakesh is fifth from the right end. So one, two, three, four. This you, you, are, you are able to follow. So I know the leftmost position. I know the rightmost position. Can I find out the total number of persons? Yes. Now what is the total number of persons? I will not do it. I will not do the calculation. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There are many people here who have marked 13 as the answer. They have wasted their precious time. Remember, we are not looking at what the answer is. All we are looking at is can we get the answer by using the given data. And the answer here is yes. If the data in both the statements 1 and 2 together is combined, we will be able to find out the answer to this question. So option E will be the answer which is 5 here. 5, option 5 or option E. You getting it? Option 5, both 1 and 2 together are enough.